uh, there was one player from the Nepal side, sir, who missed out the tournament. Uh, Sandeep Lamichane. Um, uh, did his absence hurt the side in any manner? There was quite a bit of confusion because of visa uh, delay in issuing of visa and all those things. He could not join the team in USA. So, did that thing impact the the team, the squad, the dressing room environment? I think uh, management side. I can talk about it. You know, uh, it. It had an impact. I mean, I will not deny that it had an impact because a lot of decision making were under time constraints, you know, and uh, we had to find ways out to, to uh, keep working around it. So, you know, to announce a squad of 14 without Sandeep with the hope that he will be able to get across and then for him not to come over to uh, states. I mean, we wanted to maximize our resources and he's a champion player. So to have him in the playing eleven from game one makes a difference because his experience of playing on that side of the world, uh, he's a senior pro in the team. What he speaks in the dressing room also has an impact. So not having him right from the start, forget the World Cup. I think not having him right from the start of build up for the World Cup uh, also had an impact. You know, so but we had to wait. We had to wait for the legalities in place. And that was right. not in our control. So, unfortunate, very unfortunate, but no enough force can control that. I know that uh, the Canon management did their best. Uh, we know that ICC also pretty much supported the uh, right calls, which were done professionally and legally. Uh, right. It was something which was in nobody's hand. So, we had to live with it. Right. Quite an unfortunate incident there, but still an interesting campaign for Nepal there. Sir, uh, how do you think? Nepal cricket is going forward and what what do you see in the future for Nepal cricket? We, since we have been coaching the side for quite a few years now. Yeah, I mean, I count my days. You know, we have right from 28 Jan till now. Uh, every day I have tried to live certain moments and, you know, kind of make my notes as part of my story. And I believe in story building, the narratives. So, when you talk about it, I think uh, the cherished belief the deep belief is still there with me and with the unit and with other leaders who support us. I don't, I haven't back, gone back to Nepal, so I don't know uh, the other things. Uh, but in terms of the future for Nepal cricket is very bright. I think they've shown consistently that they can at least compete. In all the three games, we didn't cross the line. But uh, I, you know, many cricket experts who have also kind of send me a message on a personal note and or whatever I've heard on air and in different uh, online platforms and channels. They pretty much have acknowledged that, you know, this team can compete. Batting with the associate team is always going to be a challenge because of the environment that you come in. So in future, one of the things which I'm looking forward to is to have a lot more professional grounds. I mean, professionals who come in and build a good ground. Uh, you know, correct way to say that uh, we have certain pitches that we bat on, but if we can have, uh, you know, the the pitches laid down as per the international standard with covered um, grass, scientifically proven about the lateral movement and other things. Uh, again, I'm not an expert, but you know, the surfaces which can challenge you a little more. Uh, I think that's the area that we're going to get better at. I mean, that consistent exposure. Uh, Organizing the domestic structure even in a better way will make a difference. We had one good thing which happened last year was PM Cup where all the provinces played uh, nine games along with the three professional teams, the armies and the police teams, which was good. I think uh, white ball cricket is where the, most of the associate teams survive. So currently, even we will have to do that. But long term future, I do feel that uh, with all the neighboring countries having test nation, status uh, they all have destination status so the one small country which is left around them is nepal right. so with everyone's support it will make a difference i've been saying this i've been vocal about this for a while now and it's purely love for the game and you know their fan base is huge uh, i think the youngsters taking up cricket is increasing with the kind of uh, cricket which the young dreams have played over the last 15 months they have obviously played some of the better known tournaments and uh, have retained their ODI status, which they also speak about sometimes. I think uh, uh, everyone needs to participate and hopefully 
we'll see them a lot more at the highest level quite right there monty sir as you say that nepal is the only country within the subcontinent which is yet to gain that test status but and mm-hmm. i believe with the, with the support of boards like bcci and some of the other neighboring boards nepal will will rise up the ranks in the coming years Mm-hmm. <laughs>